Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome back to another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Um, so last episode we really hit it big. Um, I don't even remember what game it was, but we oh yeah, it was Halo Point, but we nailed it. So uh, let's go ahead and continue that amazing performance. Um, I remember we made a career, uh, custom game engine last time, so we're going to go ahead and develop a brand new game with that engine, and we are going to, you know, uh, yeah, be real good. Um, so, let's see here. What? Uh, game history, let's see here. So, Halo Point was our most successful. Um... This one wasn't bad. Um, let's see here. I don't know. Let's see here. Develop new game. Pick topic. Let's go with a new horror game. And we're going to call it The Last House. All right. And we're going to make it a medium sized game. This is going to cost more, but it's going to be a little bit more, um, you know, uh, amazing, I suppose. We're going to make it mature, because that kind of makes sense for a horror game. Pick genre. Um, let's go... Serious. Would it be considered casual? Hmm. Yeah, okay, action, I guess, would be good. And we're going to go make it for the PC, because... Uh, those types of games work pretty well for the PC, and we're going to use the Snow version 0.5, um, and we're going to use 2D Graphics V2. All right, start development. All righty. This guy is finally really, um, well, I don't know who exactly it was, but um, so something that's kind of cool is we now get to choose on who does certain things um, around the game. So, engine is really important. So, we're going to have Brady work on that. Uh, Brady, not Brady. Brady work on that. And that is just because he's the best with the tech. Um, and it's going to make it so that he does a little bit more. Um, then, for design. Um, let's see here. We're going to... I'm going to do the gameplay. And Nathan is going to do the story and quests. All right. And let's see here. Engine save game. We want, yeah, that, that's something that's useful for games. And we'll do game tutorials as well. All right. So this is going to probably be a pretty expensive game. But I think it, I, I hope, I hope it's going to be worth it. Um, you know, we'll see what happens though. In two months, G64 will be taken off the market. Oof. G64 has finally seen its last days. Alright, so dialogues, not important. Level design, probably more important than artificial intelligence, but it could also be about the same. Um, so I think artificial intelligence must be tech, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that just in case it's design, but I don't think it is. Um, we'll put Nathan on design, and then we'll put Samuel on dialogues just so that way he's doing something. All right. Ooh. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for a game. This is the first time our, our whole company has kind of created something. So, uh, all right. So, hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, uh, a reporter for Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give it? Be willing to give an interview about this? Give an interview. Great. Thank you for your time. We will publish the interview next week. Okay. Cool. I wonder if that's going to create any hype. I don't think so. Alright. Graphics, apparently not that important. Which is kind of so shocking. Um, so let's go ahead. Do something like this. Um, so. Let's see here. Yeah, that. Alright. We'll get you. Wait a moment. We'll get you working on that. And then guess yeah that works out um mono sound yeah mono sound even though mono sound is pretty bad but 
Planet GG has recently published an interview with Blue Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Blueberry, owner of the and CEO of Blue Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Alright. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, com games will ma with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Alright. Alright, yeah, look at that hype. Yeah, so we already have a little bit of hype. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Govador failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. Alright. Alright, we're doing real good on this game. It's giving us a lot of research, it's giving us a lot of design and technology. We've got a couple of bugs, but we'll work through those. Alright. You've released three games for the pl platform and earned a total of $155,000. Alright. I think... Oh, come on! Samuel, adding bugs to the game. Alright, let's go ahead and finish that. New record, look at that. Good management, perfect. Alright, and we leveled up artificial intelligence, so that's good. Um, so also the good management, that's basically making it so that it makes sure that nobody got overwhelmed with the project, so nobody was over 100% of their uh, work. Alright, release game. Alright, we gotta make some good money. Alright, so the first reviews for our newly released game, The Last House, came in. Okay. Ooh, that's a 10. Alright, an 8. That's that's good. That's really good. Alright, a 7. Passing. 7, also passing. Come on, give it... Alright, 9. Great. That's, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, we'll get uh, Nathan... To work on that game report. Alright, rank 12. Still only rank 12. Come on. We can do better than that. Uh, that's too bad. Alright, well. Story and quest seems to be not important for this type of game. Platform audience such match. PC mature great. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. We have some additional insights. Brady Walker, Samuel Bowers, and Nathan Luna are still new to the team. A few more games and the team will have higher potential. Okay. Alright, so that still worked out pretty dang well. Um, I'm going to go see if we have anything else to research really quick. Um, no, marketing is the only thing. Um, yeah. We can research that and then also maybe research some new topics. Sports, city. Let's go ahead with city, um, considering those are some of my more popular games. Uh, research. Thief. Ah. We can make the Thief series now. Um, rhythm. Ah, we can try a rhythm game at some point. I'm not a big fan of rhythm games, but I know people are. I know that. Alright, well, let's go ahead and develop a new game. We're going to go ahead and do a city uh, theme um, with a genre of simulation. Uh, casual also works, but I think simulation is going to be the better version. Uh, when we have the choice of t picking two genres, it will definitely be simulation casual. Um, but simulation is going to be the pick for right now. Um, PC simulation is really good on the PC, so let's stick with that. And we're going to use a snow engine. Um, so T2 graphics, perfect. All right, so I think engine is probably going to be pretty important for this uh, gameplay. I don't know. I don't really know if gameplay is that important. We can try it, though. Also, we didn't do a large game. You know, that's okay. It doesn't have to be a large game. I mean, medium game. 
All right, artificial intelligence, level design can go down a little bit. Dialogues can go up. There we go. I don't think dialogues are that important, but I could be wrong. World design must be more important. That's what I'm going to say. All right. So the last house is now off the market. It sold 94,000 units, generating 1 million in sales. Nice. That is some good, uh, a good amount of cash. Definitely going to want some more, though. And we're going to go ahead and send some people on vacation because you can see they're getting a little tired. All right, let's go ahead and finish the game. New topic, new combo. Oh yeah, so much is leveling up. That's good. That's good. Release game. New research. Simple cutscenes and open world. Perfect. Uh, research. Let's go open world. It seems that action games are especially popular at the moment. All right. The first reviews came in. Oh, we didn't even call it anything. We called it game number nine. Whoops. Ah, oh, but people love game number nine. That wasn't too great. Alright, that's good. These are some very, like, well, I guess they're not that mixed reviews, but. Alright, perfect. They're still pretty good. Alrighty, let's go ahead and generate game report. Game number 9, 15. So, not as good as the last house. Game report. City and simulation is a great com combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Uh, PC, everyone is good. All right, All right. let's um, hmm. maybe we should look for a new position. Um, I think something that's going to be important is probably another game demo. So let's go ahead and start looking for that. That did cost a lot though. We are spending a lot of money on people right now. Venice said at the announcement, the o Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Okay. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll make a game for it, but maybe not. All right, so what do we have? Technology and design. Yikes. That was not terrible. Hmm. I don't really know if I like any of these people. But I guess William May might be the better option. So let's go ahead with uh, William May. Alright, William May. You gotta do some training. Staff, welcome training. And you can see everybody's a little unsure about William. We gotta get used to him. But we will. We will eventually. Alright. Um, yeah, that didn't generate that many in sales. Probably because it was a small game. So, not, not too surprised by that. Um, let's go ahead and make a new game. Let's go ahead and make a thief game. Um, what's going to be good for this? RPG could be interesting. Yeah, let's try an RPG. Oh, uh, I kind of want to make it, I want to kind of play it safe right now. We don't have that much money uh, in the budget right now. So if we want to play it safe, I'd say we probably make Mars 3, which would be colonization and action. Or wait, no, colonization, what was it, simulation? Yeah. All right. Mars 3. A greater, a greater ascent, accent, a greater accent. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. 
Oh, wait. I guess it didn't even... Okay, let's just call it Mars 3. Um, uh, hmm. A uh, new, new start. Or, hmm. New Dawn? I think that might be already be a game. I'm not sure. Alright, let's go ahead with PC. Snow. And, oh, um. Yeah, everyone's fine, I think. Uh, 2D graphics V2. That's good. All right, engine, gameplay, yeah, let's leave it at that. So let's go ahead and with engine, Brady is going to get that one. Gameplay, um, Nathan, you can get story and quests, and I guess I will get gameplay. Oh, starting off with some bugs. Today, the new game platform Vena Oasis by Vena has been released. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think level design is probably important. Artificial intelligence is really important, so we're going to give that to Brady as well. Um, level design, we can give that to Nathan. Um, and then I, or Samuel can pick up dialogues. I don't think dialogues are important for a simulation game at all. Your bank account is in the red. Oh, shoot. Um, thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 200,000, but be careful if your account balance is below negative 200,000, you will go bankrupt. Dang, I did not realize we were that low on money. That's too bad. We might have to fire some people if this game's not successful. All right, sound is important. World design, not so important. Um, we gotta make this game good. Okay. Graphics, I can take that. World design, Samuel. Okay. Yikes. Yikes, we gotta make some money. We gotta make some money. Real quick. Whoa, new record. That was loud. Uh, I don't think, I think we might just have to fire somebody right now, like instantly. Oh man, our expenses are too high. I shouldn't have hired somebody you knew. Crap. All right, that's great, but we're going to go bankrupt. Yep, bank. We see that you are in financial difficulties since you've just released your latest game. We are willing to offer you a mini credit to get you over this month's payments. We will give you, okay, to cover your costs and expect to be paid back the full amount plus a small administration fee of 25000 in two months' time. Yeah, we will agree to that. Sometimes you gotta take a bailout. Hopefully this is, you know, this is, this game is our, okay, good, good, good. All right, perfect. This is what we needed. Just hopefully it makes us at least a million. Come on, Mike. Come on, buddy. Get down. All right, there we go. Let's close that. All right. Generate game report. Come on. All right. Good, good, good. Rank 9, that's really good. Yeah, we're making the money that we needed to. So that's good. Uh, it seems that the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Okay. 
All right, let's do some research. Simple cutscenes, better user experiences, better dialogues, level editor. Hmm. We aren't really doing much with story, though, yet. Gameplay, dialogues, level design. Maybe we'll do something with gameplay. Game report. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Road design seems to be not very important for this type of game. Uh, colonization and everyone is great. Okay. Nice. Well, wow, so it seems like quite a few players use illegal copies of Mars 3 New Dawn. I've managed to identify some of them. We could either sue them to defend our copyright or send them warnings to ask them to stop. What do you want to do? We'll just warn them right away. We don't need to take legal action against those people. The amount of has been deducted from your account. Okay. Yikes. Blue Games has recently sent warnings to several players using illegal copies of their game Mars 3 New Dawn. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We have gained 297 fans. Nice. Very good. Alright, so let's go ahead and develop a new game. Um, yeah, let's go ahead with Medium. Uh, you know, we're still making a good amount of money, so... Let's see what do you think what do we think thief let's go thief action thief strategy yeah let's go thief strategy pick platform pc game engine snow and wait did I say yeah everyone is probably good 2d graphics v2 um, a little expensive. Oh, shoot. I forgot to name it. Keep forgetting to name it. Dang it. Um, we don't really know what's important for this game. But I'm going to assume that gameplay is a little bit more important. So let's go ahead and continue with that. I need to stop and actually name things. Take a breather. Very. Take a breather. Alright. I think, uh, yeah, I think level design is probably more important than artificial intelligence in the sense. So, that is going to be the way we do it. And let's switch it around. There we go. All right, world design graphics. Graphics are probably important for this type of game. Um, but I'm to be totally honest, I'm not too sure. Um, let's get Samuel working on that instead. Yeah, I don't know. But we do have a lot of research. The only problem is, is that we need, we need to like make a lot of money before we make another engine. Because making an engine is really quite expensive. All right, new record, nice. New topic, new combo, good management. Yeah, wow. A lot of things are leveling up, which is beautiful. Salary increase due to an increase in experience. The following staff have earned a raise. Wow. Those are some big raises. Like, these people have doubled. Some of them. Pretty close to doubling, at least. Yikes. I wish I, whenever I got a raise, it would double. Alright, new research available. 2D graphics of E3 and 3D graphics of E1. Nice. That's pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, we are going to need uh, to make a lot of good money really soon. This is important that it's good. Alright, nice, nice. 
That's actually really good. I didn't think that this was going to be this successful. I mean, I, obviously I had my hopes, but I had my doubts too. Nice. Strategy games work well on PC. Good. All right. Generate game report, and then we can send you guys on a vacation. Today, Nevento announced the much-anticipated successor to the popular TES console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with a state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simple, simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super TES. Okay. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. People like a game 11. Alright, we're making some good money though. So that's good. Game report. Okay. Thief and strategy is a good combination. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. Um, PC and strategy is great. Fantastic. All right, we have some additional insights. William May is still new to the team. A few more games, and the team will have higher potential. Yep. We already knew that. All right, let's send you on vacation. Now, we want to do some research now, um, just because uh, we have the money to do so. And also, we're probably going to be making an engine in the next episode. So... Uh, let's go ahead and get these started. Um, I kind of wanted enough research, though, to research all of that. All of that good stuff. But I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. F oh, wait. No, we can. We can. Perfect. All right, it looks like we could potentially get the custom engine started now. Well, it's probably going to be really expensive. Hmm. Because we're going to want this one instead of that one. And this. Simple cutscenes. Better user experience. Better dialogues. Level editor. Open world. And that's pretty expensive. So we're going to, instead we're going to create a, another game. Now let's see here. Let's check our game history. What's something that we need to make more of? Let's, uh, let's make like an off game of Halo Point. Um, so let's gonna, like, we're going to call it a develop new game. Halo Point. Um, untold. Yeah, we'll just call it Untold. And we'll make it a medium game. We'll make it mature, because that makes sense. Um, and it's going to be sci-fi. And action. Pick platform, PC. And pick game engine, snow version 0.5. Alright, start development. Alright, so we kind of know pretty well. We know you know we're pretty good at uh, making these games so I think this will be pretty successful I mean this was the original was a, like a 10 like all around so um, this game's got to be good this is what we're known for this is what the fans want to see let's do level design a little bit less dialogues not very important Let's get that going. Um, also, I think we should be able to market now. So let's do a little marketing. Uh, get some hype going around this game. Looks like we might be going in the red. I 
again. But, you know, that happens. Uh, journal surrounds the world are baffled as one, only one day after Vani and Nevento uh, jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sore. That's unfortunate. Nevento announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it that the distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Nevento, handing over much of the control to Vony. Okay, this seems to be the end of the play system. That's unfortunate. Alright, that is really good. That is really good. We're going to have to finish this game. Uh, in two months, the TS will be taken off the market. Alright, finish the game. Boom, hell point. Oh man, that was loud. Uh, shoot, we're cutting it close again with our cash. Hopefully things turn out well for us. Um, so, uh, sadly though, I'm going to have to stop this episode here. It's getting to being that time. So, uh, wait see what happens in the next episode um to see how good this game is um i hope you guys have enjoyed this video um if you guys did hit that like button if you guys have any comments questions concerns anything of the sort leave them in the comments down below um also uh i feel like i've been saying this a lot but i have a discord server which is now going to be in the description if you guys want to check that out and join so that way you guys can get uh all of the updates and answer any questions or anything like that i have for you guys um and also for game suggestions so uh thank you guys so much for watching uh, and have a fantastic day